While the king of rock and roll received the biopic treatment in Baz Luhrmann's Elvis, fans and newcomers alike were treated to a sampling of Presley's iconic moments. When Elvis Presley burst onto an unsuspecting music scene in the mid-1950s, he became the face of the burgeoning rock and roll movement. His provocative performances began to frighten parents while delighting children, and his seminal catalog has gone on to inspire some of the world's most iconic musicians. In today's video, we're going to walk you through 10 of Elvis's most iconic moments from his legendary career. Number 1. On Stage Show Elvis makes his first national television appearance. Elvis, a new kind of superstar, introduced the masses to his trademark wiggle. His first television appearance came just a day after his first major label release, Heartbreak Hotel, and made quite a stir. The future king of rock and roll, virtually unknown at the time, shimmied around the stage performing a suite of songs, including Ray Charles's I Got a Woman and a medley of two Joe Turner songs, Shake, Rattle, and Roll, and Flip, Flop, and Fly. Number 2. On the Milton Berle Show, Elvis Unleashes Hound Dog Elvis had made several appearances on the renowned variety show while his popularity was growing, but none of them could compare to his appearance on June 5, which would earn him both widespread fame and a little bit of infamy. Elvis had previously performed a series of up-tempo songs with a guitar on television, limiting his ability to dance. Burl advised Presley to perform without the guitar before he debuted his cover of Big Mama Thornton's Hound Dog to television audiences. Let him see you, son, he allegedly said. Forty million people saw him, but they weren't prepared for Presley's unobscured pelvic thrusts. The incident shocked parents and the media while delighting the youth, establishing him as a rising sex symbol. Number 3. Elvis Stars in Jailhouse Rock Elvis's third film gave him a role that resembled his own meteoric rise to fame, but with a violent streak that lands his character, Vince Everett, in prison. When he is released, Peggy, played by Judy Tyler, notices his singing talent and falls in love with him. The film also includes a scene in which the king, dressed in a striped prison uniform, dances through jailhouse rock with a group of other prisoners in the middle of a cell block. Number 4. Elvis the Pelvis makes an appearance on Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan refused to book Elvis Presley on his career-launching variety show after deeming Elvis the Pelvis too risque for family viewing. Following an appearance on Steve Allen's rival show, in which Elvis performed Hound Dog to an actual Basset Hound, while wearing a top hat and tails, Sullivan decided to abandon his Elvis boycott and bring Elvis in for what would become a landmark performance. Instead of the clean-cut Elvis that Allen had requested for his show, Sullivan stuck to his guns and performed with his trademark sensuality. The performance captivated the youth of America once more forever changing musical tastes and entertainment. Number 5. Black Monday for Elvis fans, Presley gets drafted. Presley had become a national icon and the world's first bona fide rock star after a string of gold records including Heartbreak Hotel, Blue Suede Shoes, Hound Dog, and Don't Be Cruel. Before Elvis, there was nothing. John Lennon famously said, Presley received his draft notice for a two-year stint in the Army at the height of his career. Tens of thousands of fans wrote letters to the Army pleading for him to be spared on Black Monday, as it was known in the media, but Elvis bravely enlisted in the Army anyway. News crews from all over the world were on hand to report on Presley's enlistment. Presley and his fellow recruits were bussed to Fort Chaffee, Arkansas after saying their final goodbyes to family and friends. Number 6. Sinatra offers a television olive branch. By the time rock and roll fully emerged, many established figures in music despised it. Back in 1957, Sinatra was at the forefront of the anti-rock and roll movement, declaring, It is sung, played, and written for the most part by credinous goons, the most brutal, ugly, degenerate, 
vicious form of expression, I have had the misfortune to hear. Less than three years later, the legendary crooner changed his tune, inviting Presley to appear on his ABC special, It's Nice to Go Traveling. The appearance worked wonders in de-emphasizing Elvis's degenerate rock and roll image and broadening his appeal. Number 7. On his 1968 comeback special, Elvis sings a protest song. As the grand finale of NBC's TV special, Elvis, If I Can Dream, was written to take the place of I'll Be Home for Christmas. Walter Earl Brown wrote the song in response to the string of assassinations of the era. Martin Luther King Jr. himself and Robert F. Kennedy. Knowing Presley's fondness for Martin Luther King Jr. and his I Have a Dream speech. After a stint in B-movies, the song, along with the special, catapulted the new and improved Elvis back into the spotlight. After hearing the demo, Presley declared, I'll never sing another song I don't believe in again. I'll never make another film in which I don't believe. Number 8. With a residency in Las Vegas, Elvis reignites his star. Elvis hadn't performed on stage in years when he started his Las Vegas residency at the International Hotel. The opening night was intimidating, with Hollywood stars, Vegas entertainers, and various high rollers in attendance. The list of stars, which included Cary Grant, Sammy Davis Jr., Anne Margaret, Paul Anka, and Dionne Warwick, was impressive, even in a town accustomed to star-studded opening nights. Among the slew of polished Vegas headliners, the performance's spontaneity was refreshing. Over the next seven years, he would perform over 600 shows in Las Vegas, all of which he would sell out. Number 9. Aloha from Hawaii via Satellite In 1973, Elvis delivered one of his most significant live performances, playing to nearly 1.3 billion people using cutting-edge satellite technology at the time. Aloha from Hawaii was the first live satellite broadcast in history to feature a single performer. It was a spectacle in every way, complete with a smattering of tropical-themed shirts and lays. Elvis's desire to entertain all his fans all over the world inspired the historic show. Number 10. Elvis in Concert Elvis in Concert, released just two months after Presley's death, was palpably depressing. The performance depicts a man who is clearly ill, with glassy eyes and fumbling through the lyrics to his biggest hits. It also includes the last known footage of Presley receiving a gold record from RCA executives on June 26, the day before his final concert. Because of Elvis's deteriorating health, the performances were deemed so bad that CBS executives considered canceling them in favor of a future tour. But this was abandoned after Presley was discovered dead on August 16. Despite its low quality, it provided fans with one last glimpse of the undisputed king of rock and roll. And those were the top 10 unforgettable Elvis Presley moments. Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.